Hmm, what beer do I want to try next? Beer time, it's beer time with the beer man. Great South Bay Brewings. They're out of New York. It's a uh, Sapere Aude, Free Thought, DIPA, you know, a double IPA. It's an eight and a half percent, and I imagine it's with uh, Citra hops because it has it on the label Citra. So I'm uh, just assuming. I'm really looking forward to this. I just, uh, for some reason, I have a good feeling about it. Okay, let's open her up. Sapere Ode, Sapere Ode. Nice. Smell her. I can't even shake it. I can't twirl it. It's so thick. And then when it goes in your nose, it's even better. <laughs> you really smell it. It's got a very awesome, um, oh, a bit of an orange kind of zest to it. There's just a real nice Malt blend of malts in this. Oh, nice and hoppy. Got some fruits, mango, mm, light fruits. This thing's in my way, sorry. Yeah, mango, orange, a little lime, maybe some tangerine, orange peel. Oh, wow. Um, there's kind of an earthiness to it, somewhat. It's got a nice blend, it smells good. Let's look at it. So it gave me a nice two finger head at the beginning and it's down to about a finger, finger and a half. Retention's quite nice. Um, it's a pretty uh, pretty good retention. Um, it's got a nice, uh, uh, kind of a deep golden color to it. Um, almost pushing copperish kind of light color. And it's uh, hazy and uh, a bit dull. It's got a white head with good glass lacing, lacing on the glass. Um, so far, you know, as it sits there, it's nice. You can see white head with good glass lacing, lacing on the glass. Um, so far, you know, as it sits there, it's nice. You can see. Uh, so the maltiness is present. Uh, even in the smell, it was very present. So nice, yeah. Maltiness was present. Maltiness was present. So are the hops, man. So are the hops, man. Got a good head. It's probably more than likely it's using um, flaked wheat or barley in it, in its grain bill, I imagine. Let's taste it. How about that? Wow. 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 I'm getting crazy stuff on this. So it puts on this nice, sweet display and then rolls into, it's like a display of orange. And then it rolls into this crazy, bitter, um, orange peel like rind kind of texture of taste in the back. Apricot, peach, dried peach, dried light fruits, um, tangy, sweet on the touch. Right when it goes on, it's sweet. Sweet and then the immediately your, your, your palate gets hit with that sweetness. Fruity floral sweetness just pouncing up with a nice crazy alcohol fume just pouncing on your palate going straight to your sinuses you can totally taste the heat in this it's definitely heaty 
Um, it's it's got it's alcoholic quality to it. <laughs> it's lifty as all hell. The lacing's beautiful. Check it out. This is an overall beautiful beer. It tastes absolutely different from anything I've tasted of an in in inside the IPA world. It is definitely a double IPA. It's got the strength. It's got the, 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 the quality of it, the color, the texture, the body, the mouthfeel is amazing. It, it goes on sweet, punches you with alcohol, shows, it throws it back, the tongue and on the back of the palate with this fruity kind of maltiness. It throws back this tanginess on the back of the palate until it hits the um, tonsil area and then dries off as it goes down the esophagus. So it allows you to taste every nook and cranny of this beer before it actually goes down. So you're not getting totally um, crazily sick from the sweetness or anything. It tastes very, very elegant. It's a very beautiful beer. Um, the mouthfeel is smooth and silky, uh, and almost velvety and just very complex. And um, it's just, I don't know, I, I really like this. It's it's very very amazing um, carbonation levels is is uh, it's probably a medium rising bubble it's, it's not too bad it's um, kind of round it's not terrible there's uh, quite a bit of alcohol in there so it kind of throws off anything um, that that's what I got out of it but it was actually kind of nice <laughs> Um, and sometimes uh, I think a little too much alcohol though I don't know kind of threw me off a little bit um, it is a double IPA but it did have a lot of alcohol in it it's it's really sweet and um, almost uh, a tartness at the back of the palate that's kind of um, almost like a uh, just a you know, real ripe dry fruit um, mixed with like um, maybe even some leather and some other stuff going on. It's really weird tasting, but um, but it's it's not bad, you know. So it's it's definitely got a, a nice balanced body. So I'm really liking this. It's good. Um, I'm definitely gonna give this a uh, I'm gonna give this a nine. I I was just thrown off by the alcohol, but I'm gonna give it a nine. That's a very good score. Please comment. Let me know what you think about this beer or anything else that you're thinking. And for that matter and please subscribe and hit that bell hit it. It's right somewhere over there. Hit it Hit it. All right. Have a good night folks day wherever you are in this big and glorious wonderful world that we live in man, okay? Cheers peace